Hello everyone, teachers, judges, and friends. My name is Rahadian Yoga Valendra from Tunas Makar, Indonesia Senior High School. On this occasion, I want to tell you guys a captivating story. However, before I start the story, I have a question. Have you guys ever give up on the things that you really wanted to do in your life just because you didn't believe in yourself and others didn't believe in you? Well, hopefully, with the story I'll be telling you today, will make you feel more confident about yourself and to never give up on anything you want to do. The story is entitled The Eagle. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Peter. He was a 10-year-old boy who lived in a little house with his parents. Peter was diagnosed with asthma since he was a baby. Despite his sickness, he was still an intelligent boy. One day, when Peter was going to the school with his dad riding a motorcycle, the rain started pouring out of nowhere. Therefore, Peter and his dad have to stop by a bus stop until the rain stopped pouring. Once Peter arrived at the school, Excuse me, miss. Come on, Peter. Why do you came so late, Peter? I'm sorry, miss. It was rain earlier, so me and my dad have to stop by a bus stop to wait until the rain stop pouring because my dad ride a motorcycle to get here. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't ride a motorcycle. Don't you have a car? Oh wait, you don't. <laughs> hey, Kevin, don't talk to your friend like that. Is it wrong if Peter doesn't have a car? Not everybody in this world have a car, everyone. You should all not laugh at Peter, understand? Understand, miss. Sorry, miss. At that time, Peter was sorrowful. Not longer after that, one of the teachers named Mr. Alex showed a video to all of the students that changed Peter's perception. Mr. Alex showed the students the video about the eagle's attitude. That the eagles always flies higher and higher, even when there's a storm. And that the eagles always focuses and never give up on its prey. So everybody, do you all want to be like the eagle? Yes, sir. Ah, if you all want to be like the eagle, you all have to be strong, even on tough times. Just like the eagle that always flies higher and higher, even when there's a storm. And you all have to focus on your dreams. Do you all have a dream, everyone? Yes, sir. Ah, you all have to be focused on that dream by not giving up and keep working hard. Peter was truly inspired by the video that was just shown by Mr. Alex. And he realized that he had to be strong and never give up on anything he wanted to do. After the class had ended, Peter was in a waiting room waiting to get picked up by his dad. While waiting, he was talking to one of his friends named Thomas. Thomas, did you just see the video that Mr. Alex just shown early this afternoon? Yes, Peter. Why? I want to be like the eagle, Thomas, to never give up and to be strong even if everybody bullies me. Oh, Peter, you know I always believed in you. I know you are strong. And one day, you will show everybody that you are better than them. Thanks, Thomas. The next day, in the school, the teachers were having a discussion about general things that happening in the school. Then Mr. Alex got an additional information from the sports teacher named Mr. Rogers that there will be a swimming test in the afternoon. So teachers, any additional informations? I have, sir. It is from um, Mr. Rogers. He said that there will be a swimming test in the afternoon and Peter kept asking Mr. Rogers if he could join the test or not. Any ideas, teachers? Excuse me, Peter? Peter cannot join that test. We all know why, right? What if his condition would be worse if he joined the test? I disagree. I think Peter have to try first. We will not know what will happen to him if he doesn't try. And I think Peter can swim. 
Peter has to try first. I agree with Mr. Alex. I think Peter just needs to be supervised by Mr. Rogers as best as possible. So then the test began. At first, Peter was just doing fine. But then, okay, everybody, get ready on your position. One, two, three. Help! 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 Peter! Peter was taken out, out of the swimming pool immediately by Mr. Rogers. See, sir, this is why Peter should not join the test. This asthma boy should just do math. Ha ha ha! Hey, Kevin! Did you see your friend condition right now? Is it a time for a joke? Huh? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Peter was taken to the medical center in the school immediately. Mr. Rogers, Mr. Alex, the nurse, Peter's father, and also Thomas were there to calm Peter down after the tragedy that just happened to him. Son, son, I told you to not join the test. It's okay, Dad. I'm fine. Yes, sir. Peter is fine. In fact, today, Peter showed everyone that he doesn't give up and could swim. Wow, Peter, you swam so fast like the dolphin. A week has passed. Then in school, Mr. Rogers have an announcement to all of the students that there will be a swimming competition that will be held next month. And the prize is a huge sum of scholarship. Peter was captivated by the competition and thinks that if he wins the competition, he could make his parents proud of him. Therefore, Peter asked Mr. Rogers if he could join in the competition. Excuse me, sir. I want to join in the competition. Are you sure, Peter? Your condition will get worse. No, sir. I will train hard for this competition and I believe I can win. Okay then, Peter. I need the other teacher's confirmation first, okay? Okay, sir. Then Mr. Rogers asked all of the teachers and also the headmaster if Peter could participate in the competition. Then the teachers and headmasters believed in Peter and said that he could participate in the competition. Peter was really happy about that. Because of that, Peter trained hard. He runs, he swims every day. With Thomas' support, Peter became more motivated to win the competition. Then a month have passed, and it's finally the competition time. Hello everyone, welcome to the 2021 swimming competition in Westview School. Yay! Peter manages to win the preliminary round and went straight to the final round. And then the final round began. Okay, all contestants ready. Come on, Peter. You can do this. You can do this. Don't be afraid. Be like an eagle. Be like an eagle. Everyone was shocked at how fast Peter swam at that time. And the good news is, Peter won the competition. Okay, so for the first winner, congratulations to Peter Parker. Yes! Yes! That's my friend right there. That's my friend. Let's go, Peter. So guys, that is all for the story. The lesson that we can take from this story is, as I said in the opening, is to be confident with yourself, with what you have, and also to never give up on anything you want to do. We can see that a little kid that was diagnosed with asthma can still be a champion because he keeps working hard, never give up, and focuses on his goal, just like an eagle. There's all for me. My name is Radian Nogafalendra. Thank you very much for your kind attention.